Well, there's no reason. I've asked them to leave. I begged them to get out of my life. That's absolutely All right, what do we got here? This is Elliot Porter, the guy who was tearing up his apartment. That wasn't me. Look, I'm not a violent man. I've never harmed another human being in my entire life. Threw his cat at us when we came in. That wasn't me either. <laughs> who was it, Mr. Porter? Go ahead, tell him. Look, don't you laugh at something just because you don't understand it. He says it was a ghost. Ghost? Ghost. A phenomenon. A, 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 an inexplicable, seemingly irrational occurrence, I which... See. And I, I don't like it any more than you Mr. do. Mr. Porter, you do understand that we have to proceed according to the facts as we ascertain oh. them. Yeah. Consequently, for the time being, anyway, we, we are going to have to hold you. you. You do understand that. Oh, I, uh... <laughs> oh, Julius is probably laughing at this whole thing. Julius. Uh, uh the, the phenomenon. The, uh, it's his name. Sir did Casper? <laughs> English literature major, right? All right. Uh, Sergeant Dietrich will uh, book you. If you'll just have a seat over here, Mr. Reporter, just write a minute. Always a little fruitcake left after Christmas. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Actually, his story isn't totally fantastic. Oh, yeah? There's a lot of documentation on the sort of phenomena he describes. Oh, yeah? You've heard of Poltergeist? It's a mischievous spirit. Makes its presence known by throwing things, making noises. <laughs> yeah, like that. Morning. I went to the bakery. Is that the evidence? Right. Better prepare yourself. <laughs> Nick, I'm a relatively sophisticated adult. There isn't too much that I haven't seen in... Is that what I think it is? Rye bread. Oh, well, you really gotta be warped to do something like that. <laughs> what the hell is that with them poppy seeds? <laughs> All right, gentlemen, the uh, pastry show is over. Let's get back to work. <laughs> I'm going to call the DA's office, see if you can get some kind of ruling on that. Right. Don't... Barney, you should have seen what was going on in the gingerbread house. <laughs> oh, tiny little felonies. Got any next to Ken, Mr. No. Porter? I don't have very many friends either, thanks to Julius. What do you know about him? Julius? Oh, he's been in the family for years. Died in the Revolutionary War. Oh, really? Shot for treason. That makes sense. What? Polar guys are often spirits who are bothered in life and died under tragic or bizarre circumstances. That's what I've been trying to tell people for years. Nobody believes a word I say. That makes sense, too. <laughs> yeah. Well, there are many instances of such phenomena, including verification by respected and intelligent people. Yeah, I know that. However, society still refuses to accept the observer of such events. For the most part, they're considered unreliable. That's right. They're branded as irresponsible, insane, and even dangerous. Right! <laughs> 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 